Hello everyone, this is teacher Momo coming to you from my Go Go Kid classroom. I just had to teach a lesson for the second time. Um, yesterday my student came late, but she was marked as absent. So it was the same lesson, Diamond. Um, the lesson was already a little bit easy for her yesterday, so um, I had to think of a way to teach for 25 minutes the same thing. So we did a lot of review, of course. Um, we started by um, singing the song, and then we looked at some of the shapes, and then we went into spelling um, diamond, um, just to make sure that she could spell the word, also a way for her to practice writing the letters. And then I did an old um, project class lesson that I had previously done using shapes. We drew a tree house. And so it was a great way for her to review all the shapes. I drew the shapes on the side of the whiteboard and then she was able to pick the different shapes to draw this. And then I looked on YouTube and there was a video about teaching shapes with Pictionary. And so we proceeded to do some animal shapes um, using flashcard so she decided she wanted to do the giraffe I gave her the option of a giraffe or a um, duck and so with the giraffe we use rectangle and we use the oval shape and she had a lot of fun doing that and then we went to review the slides of the lessons and then we were searching for the different shapes in the um, slides. We sang the song again. We even practiced writing her name um, because I had divided the whiteboard. So she had one side to draw her doll that she had in class and I had a side to draw um, a doll. And so it turned out to be an okay lesson. So if you are ever faced with that where you have to teach the same lesson again, go to YouTube, Google to look to see for some activities to extend the lessons. Also pull out that whiteboard and get creative. Practice drawing, practice pronunciation of the different words. It's doable.